you are watching share the video please Share the video if you are watching, please. Share the video if you are watching, please. Guys, Chris ID. Share the video if you are watching. Yeah, 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 yeah
That's because I did blazing it up. If you are watching, please share the video. Please let me share the video if you are watching.
is iced coffee. Oh. Seriously good. That's my Jack for Shack. That's my Jack for Shack. That's my Jeff Ashok. How you doing, brother? Let me share the video. Let me share the video, please. Thanks, man. God bless you. Let me share the video, Mr. Ope. God bless you, man. I'm watching.
Add money, you know, ma. Share the video, please. I know you are watching from somewhere. Let's share the video. Please help me share the video if you are watching. As you know, all the unscrupulous elements keep on blocking my profile. So we can reach as many people as we can. But they cannot stop us. Because they are all gone. Fire is going to burn them down. Yeah, that is Majek Fashe Kudumi blazing it out from Nigeria, West Africa. Um, today we are still going to be we are still on the child support program. I uh, understand there are a lot of uh, weeping women around the world, and um, most especially one from Australia who has been weeping by the name of D. Uh, the Marty, who happened to have three kids um, for a Nigerian father, and as a result of my program, she has been um, blushing it out. And in Australia, we have laws, and that law is there to um, deal with everyone who escape child support and who escape um, um, looking after their children. But in my own case, um, what I'm preaching here, I'm talking about Africa, where 
children have been left in the street to sell pure water, sell apples, sell all the sellables, as far as to chewing gum, people sell in the street. That is the most smallest part of thing you can produce, even Maggi cube. They sell all sort of things, as far as to the commonest um, lucrative market, they call Gala Gala. They are all in the street. Even in snails, people sell them in the street, um, on the bus stops, everywhere. And these are children that were meant to be in the school, and children that are supposed to be um, supposed to be studying. And, you know, children that are meant to be having a good life, they are now meant to be incarcerated mm -hmm. by selling all the syllables in the street. Um, who are these corporate? Um, people say um, a majority of those children are owned by taxi drivers, bus drivers, and people boys from European countries who come home in the protest of want to get married um, at the point in time they have another wife there in European countries they will just come home and pregnant again and then run away. The most recent one I just um, I noticed was that a girl was pregnant by a guy from the UK and after he went back to UK he said he did not get a job for one or two weeks or three weeks as a result of that he don't want to marry the gay anymore. And he blamed the gay for, her not, for him not to get a job after coming to marry. We can't imagine that. You know, you came here, pregnant a woman, and the woman have a baby, and getting back to the UK, you can't find a job, and you blame the woman for it. That is um, hilarious. Um, it is just um, a way of these people running away from their Italian wives, or Paris wife, German wife, or Belgian wife, or whatever they call it, uh, Holiday wife. You know, and there's another lady in Canada. Um, the husband came to Nigeria and said he was going home to visit. And in, the, in getting home, he get married to another girl. And you have a wife and kids in Canada. You want to marry another one. And the woman find out, and now he is now living in Italy, in in, in, in European country. And shame of the shame, went on him. He cannot go back to Canada. You see, all these. Um, open eyed to the core i call that uh, uh what the good we call uh uh what do i love letter word that we used to qualify these people gangatua i can see that word now because these people are all gangatua who come home from africa to come and pregnant girls and they end up this girl end up selling tomatoes in the kusa market they all end up selling um uh planting in the street corn in the street and they have a husband in European countries. Mm -hmm. And the so-called bus driver who just impregnated all these girls, they don't even give a damn, you know? And it makes life more difficult for these children who now roam around the street. Some of them some just wander around. They don't even have good clues on, their, on, their, on themselves. They can't go to school. And the government of the day actually they don't care. All they care about is the siren they're going to blow around the street pian, 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 pian. that's all they do and if you look at the whole society um take a do state for example the people around there are feeling it the heat wave raging up to 32 degree 42 degree in most cases and people using pure water to cool up themselves while walking in the street and the government of the day is busy being busy in Employing Lebanese, um, um, Bangladesh, the most poorer part of Asians is what they bring it to a do state to come and construct our buildings. And if you go into the secretarial building, you discover that the people constructing that building are from Bangladesh, some of them are from Lebanon, while some of them are from Laos. All these, at the end of the day, the adult indigents can't find a job, they end up walking to Europe. A majority of them died in Libya, you know, and the government of the day still cannot understand, can't see the issue beyond their reach. You know, you don't need to, you don't need to be, a, you don't need a prophet to come and tell you that, oh, my citizen needed a job. To stop the inflow of migrants to Euro crossing Mediterranean Sea, these people needed a job. And if there's a job, the inflows of people flying out of the country will be reduced. And crime rate will be solved. 
So even if it's not totally solved, the, the number of crime will reduce. Labor's Day or Workers' Day, whatever they or democracy did, that the uh, our, our fellow says the demo is crazy. And I can't imagine they are celebrating democracy uh, where in a, in a society where, where, where nobody votes and people use force to collect, to put paper in the ballots. You know, I, you begin to wonder where we're heading to. And there's one guy, I want to mention his name, but I tried to avoid him so many times. This guy, he said he's sitting on the fence. After campaigning so hard, and now having himself to blame for all the campaign he does, his constituency is not being regarded. He said now he's sitting on the fence because Kabaka and um, Obaseki is, is having it tough and they're fighting each other. You know, in a society where there's no law, civilian, civilian have a right to hold the government hostage. And this guy is by the name of Sakuru Wodi, who said he's sitting on the fence. And he's, every now and then he posts pictures of people that he's giving, he said he's giving accolade. And in the middle of accolade, I don't think Nigeria actually go and check the meaning of accolade. Um, the people use this as a sign of a gift in Nigeria. When they see here, people say accolade, that means that person is being praised or they want to give the person a gift. And in a real sense, accolade means something different in the dictionary. So this guy called Osaka holding, I think Osaka Agile are holding here because that's why he's busy sitting on the fence. After all those ruthless campaigns, he now realized that he was being beaten up in 2015. You know, why now realizing he doesn't want to say anything now because Abbasaki have given him a car, they're giving him a house. So I mean he got something out of the out of his um ruthless campaign, bar boss boss ballot boss stealing and other things, you know, dehumanizing other people. Now you're saying you are sitting on the fence. Look at the whole society. We have dilapidated transport system. A society where you don't have headlights. They don't have uh, tail lights and don't have brake lights. Even in most cases, they use a handbrake to stop the, a moving car. A society whereby a, 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 a conductor will jump off the car, start pulling the car behind. I mean, it, it, they take all sort of unnecessary risk in that society. Uh, Tochiku, how oh, man? I'm back to the I'm back to Australia. Uh, thank you for watching from Lagos. God bless you. Help me share this video. Um, yeah, man, brothers and sister, if you are watching, kindly help me share this video. The issue at hand is child support, parenting, good parenting, advice before marriage, and prison visitation, which we have uh, taken into, uh, which we have embarked on in trying to educate people, lecture people about their right and their, and their wrongs. But the fact is this, if you are prepared to marry, be prepared to look after the children. You know, the contractor, how are you, man? How is Atlanta, Georgia? Hope you're doing good. Um, help me share this video. Thank you for watching. You know, the question here is this. If you are prepared to marry, be prepared to look after the children. You know, so it, it's, there's no two ways about it. You know, the idea of you coming to block my video because I'm asking people to pay child support, look after their children, which you give birth to children, doesn't make any sense. Uh, the unshakable one of Germany, how you doing, man? Ladies, thank you for watching from Germany. Help me share this video. And the idea behind my broadcast today is try support. Majority of these corporate are people living in European countries. They go home, pregnant these girls, and they have a wife in Europe countries as well. And, and, and you also see them wife moving from one country to the other, you know, in, a, in search for uh, a better, better money, better paid income from the government. And all this, some of the ladies doesn't want to work. But going back to Africa, where we have bulk of these issues, we need to wake up, stand up for our right, talk about it we need to start talking about it right now because if we don't do it now and we are waiting to start it 20 years time no one is going to listen to us a lot of people would have lose their lives a lot of people would have been subjected to adjunct poverty a society where you see a gay having a bowhead for selling apple in the street you know and uh, the worst part of all this is now now there are a lot of refugees in a do state Benicere. the cities are crowded with refugees from Bornu state from Sokoto, Kaduna, Kano, Kogi. This place, the Edo State has now been torn out, torn into a refuge, um, a refugee, um, um, a, a human cycle, where people now, a lot of crime rate has gone 
up, you know. The, uh, the crime rate has gone up that the government of the day doesn't care. Doesn't care. It went on leave with a private jet. It came back with a private jet. Why the, 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 the transport system? First thing first. The transport system, that is the thing that ferry people in and out of the town. In within the town. The transport system is very, very bad to the extent that the, every uh, bus is running in the street of a do state need to be recycled. And there's no two ways about it. If you drive around in a do state in the middle of the night, you know what I'm talking about. There will no, there's no brake light, there's no headlight. They drive, some of them are driving with two torch. They put one here, put one here. And there's a revenue number allocated to every bosses. And every one of these people are paying revenue to the state governor. And the governor himself doesn't care about it. All he cares about how much revenue they're going to collect. It's good to pay tax to collect revenue, directly or indirectly. But are you using the money for the purpose of which it's meant for? That's the question I'm asking the governor. You know, you, you, people are attacking you from all walks of life. I've said it before the rain start that you set up a diaspora account where everybody will chip in in order for you to use the money to fix the erosion system. Thank you for tying some of the roads in the upper Sakumba. I see some of your do good job you are doing around there. But the question is this you're tying the road, and where is the erosion going into? To destroy more houses. That is a mistake you are making, and that needs to cor be corrected. You know, we have every channel where you can lure water off the of a do state and you guys are not doing it all you guys are busy doing is borrowing and borrowing and borrowing and borrowing all this morning the last time we checked was that a, a do state will pay back his debt we take 38 years to pick up, pay back his debt if we start paying it now 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 in the next 38 years to come we're still going to be borrowing which means it take us more than 38 years to finish our paying our debt if job is not being created. It's a lot easier to create job in that state. The vision is very clear and direct. To create job is so easy that you, any, even a blind person can know how to create a job. You know? So the city is overpopulated and we need jobs to take the crime rate, to reduce the crime rate and to take kids off the street. Very easy. Now, for you, for you parents who busy having kids and don't thinking about how you can raise this kid, all they believe in, uncle is in Belgium, auntie is in Italy, sister is in Greece, you know, cousin is in uh, Holland. You know, you don't even know how all these your auntie, your uncle, your sister, all of them, they are, how they are getting making money to pay for your misfortune. You know. You can't have kids and depend on your uncle to come and be paying the bills for you. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't really make any sense. If you go to Italy, you will see how many of the girls who sleep under the trees to get to, to have fun to get paid. If you go to Greece, they are doing the same shit. And if you go to Malaysia, they are doing the same shit. In India, go to Dubai. You know, I went to um, Abu Dhabi the other day. Half of the people that was on the fly were young, young girls between the age of um of 15 and uh, 25 all these are all half of them are all prostitutes come all the way from dubai going back to nigeria does it make sense no why the government of the day doesn't really really care about the people all they care about how much is going to borrow the uh, revenue they are making from our oil they are making from the natural gas they're making from everywhere they're not even putting it back in the country what we have in the country, they will take it back, take it out, and borrow from outside. Every state is doing it. A do state probably owing over 1.4 trillion naira debt. So it is unbelievable to see a society walloping away, wearing away, emaciating, depreciating. In, in a tent, for people to criticize the government, people that are criticizing the government are doing it wrongly, actually. You don't criticize the government by, by sitting on the fence, by singing and thinking that we hold the, the government. The governor of Edo State, I don't even think if he, he, he hears.
I don't believe he have ears that he listen to anybody. He does whatever he want to do. He doesn't really cares. So in the next election, vote him again. You, you people will be giving money to go and steal a ballot box for him as well. And that's exactly what's going to happen. And after you collect your pay, then you come and tell us you are sitting in the fence. For how long are you going to bamboozle yourself? We've, we've, heard, we've, we've heard this so many times. We have, we have seen it so many times. So mothers, fathers, be your son's keeper. If you are prepared to get married and you are prepared to have kids, be prepared to look after your, your seeds. There is no two ways about it. You can't have kids and expect uncle to be paying the bills. You can't have kids and expect auntie to be paying the bills. And for you people from European countries who believe in using our girls, the remaining ones, the remaining good ones, you're going home there to go and pregnant them and run away. It doesn't make any sense. Remember, I said the remaining good ones. The remaining good ones are in Nigeria. And that is what these boys is going from your countries. They go and pregnant them. They come back home to Italy or France, Belgium, Holland, Germany, wherever they are. They go and get the earrings, piercing their, their ear. You know. They go on vid making videos criticizing adult people, abusing people. I understand there's a right, there's um there's um there's what you call um a demonstration happening in Germany. Someone is going to Germany to go and do a demonstration over the lady that was deported. I think you guys are breaking the law. You know, for if, if for the German a government to even give you guys an audience, I think they are very good people. You know, you don't have any right to go and you cannot even demonstrate in your own country. You go and demonstrate over a woman who divorces his husband or planned a planned divorce to go and start collecting money in another country and he was caught. And then people want to break their head over it. It's a lesson that needs to be learned. That is a big, big package for all these girls to learn from. You know, people should understand that there is, it, is, it, is, it is very, very wrong for you to have kids and you're going to use the government to, 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 to do whatever you want to do over your kids. Be a daddy and be a mommy to these children. Don't use them for, for money making machines. So for you guys that is going and demonstrating in Germany, I think you guys are just breaking the law of German law. And these guys, the German law have every right to, to, to subpoena you guys to the court and actually deal with you guys the way you're supposed to handle, handle you guys here. Because it is a very, very lucrative business for all these Nigerian girls in Europe countries who deem it right to divorce their wife or divorce their husband to use them for money making. So for you guys that is going to go to Nigeria to go and, go and start impregnating girls, using them, and after you impregnate them, and then you go back and say, oh, because of the woman you pregnant in Nigeria, that's the reason why you cannot get a job. And use that as a freezing excuse to say, oh, I'm not going to marry to her. It's a very, very bad attitude, very bad in, 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 any, in any form. You know, people promise to say, oh, I'm coming to Nigeria to come and marry you. And when they get there, they just have sex and run away. Doesn't make any sense. What's the point? You know, it is very, very bad on a... Uh, on, on, on unacceptable and for you to go to Africa and have kids and run away without looking after the children. You know, it doesn't make any sense. I'm using this opportunity to let you guys know we have an office in, in Benin City that is help, helping people to resolve issues surrounding their child support, uh, parenting and uh, prison visitations. And if you have any uh, um, we have someone in the prison and he wants um, our help. We are in number 133, Second Secular Road, Benin City. Our office is um, they are on holiday today and we'll be back. we we'll open again tomorrow. Um, so that's what it is. We, like I said, we are in number 133, Second Secular Road, Benin City. If you need any assistance in dealing with child support, child care program, um, chasing their parents, for to pay child support or, or pay medical bills, pay for transport to school, contact us at number 133 Secondary Secular Road, Benin City. 
we are there to support you. And if you have anyone in prison that has been locked away for quite a long time now, and you are looking for a lawyer that can help you fix the problem, contact us at 133 Second Secular Road. Most, like I said, most of our jobs are, are free, um, depending on the nature of the, of the offense. And yeah, we have, I have a qualified lawyer that can hand over, handle your, your case and we'll deal with it diligently um, without fear or favor. So my people, it is good to be good. I'm going to let you guys know um, child support. I'm going to be talking about it until the weekend where we will change um, the topic, but we will constantly be revisiting it. That's the way it is, and that's how it should be. If you have a child, you got to be responsible for it. Don't let your uncle or your auntie, your sister, your aunt, everywhere to be paying your bills for you. Bus drivers, if you're ready to get married or get any woman pregnant, be ready to pay the bills because we are coming for you. Where you gonna run to when we come for you? Where you gonna hide when we come for you? So, part of African girls, Lawrence J. Usayende Foundations, is right in the heart of Edo State, the Asian city, who we fully registered, accredited, and and verified by EFCC. So we're gonna come for you. If you're gonna be pregnant girls and you should be ready to pay the bills. You can't you are you, we don't really care how many how many kids you have, but you're gonna be ready to support all of them. If it results in you going to work and without getting any money from your salary, we will take all, we will have to do it. Because it's your responsibility to look after your children. No, there's no second ways about it. That is the way it should, and that is the way it should be. So, my people, the life we live is what we make out of it. I constantly tell people, marriage is a picture that is not yet printed. Happiness is a key to any relationship. It's a key to being in love, it's a key to marriage. Persevere is the biggest key out of all. So, before getting married, I have said it every now and then that it is your responsibility to check whoever you are marrying to. If this man loses a job, am I going to be able to care for this man? If this woman look her, lose her job, am I being able to be caring for this woman? But you guys also do remember this. A woman that is pregnant cannot work. You know? So for that period, she's going to be home. No matter what kind of job she's doing, Half of them, when they have a baby, they can't do sewing, they can't do tailoring, they can't do all sorts of things. Those that work in the office know what I'm talking about. So my brothers, and brothers, if you are prepared to marry to these girls, be prepared to look after the children. Don't go and give any fleecing excuse. Oh, I saw you him with another man. As a result of that, I'm divorcing him. You are running away. No, 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 no. You're wrong. Before you embark on this journey, Try to check within yourself. Am I able to carry the load? Should the case this woman breaks down? Women, check with the man. Am I able to carry the load? Should the case this man break down? I'm talking from the fact. I've been to it. So there's no this is not a gimmick. Please let me share the video if you are watching. God bless you. And for watching me from wherever you are watching me from around the world. This is the question I'm trying to talk today. That our office is in charge. At num we are situated at number 133 Secondary Secular Road, by Junction. Uh, the telephone number is stated there. Um, we have the issue with the landline. Um, the landline, that is the direct line. Uh, the issue with the MTN, um, which they are trying to rectify. Um, you can call the mobile number, the, the first number on, the, on there, and my lawyer will pick it up and will be addressing, to, addressing your issue. Otherwise, you can send me a message to uh, inbox me with an email address and everything where well, I will give you a breakdown how it works. That way, you are on the safer side. I don't really care how many people are watching me because I know a lot of people are angry that I'm talking about child support and as a result, they'll be reporting my page to Facebook and Facebook, they don't even look at what you're doing and they will just go and block it. Uh, blessing um, Thank you for watching from Holland. I guess you are in Holland. Uh, please help me share this video. It is good to be good and it's bad to be bad. The idea behind Pan-African Girls is about 
reaching out and um, helping ladies achieve their goal uh, in life. And it doesn't mean that we're not looking after men, we do But the question is this, ladies are the most vulnerable people in the, in the society. Now, I'm going to read our mission for you. In that way, you know, understand what we stand for. Pan African Girl, a developing initiative that we empower Nigerians and Africans to resolve issues and support them to live a comfortable life. That is one of our, our objectives. Pan African Girl is a Nigerian non profit organization that works towards the vision of a Nigerian African free of poverty based in a dual state, Benin City, Nigeria. The foundation has a national profile. You understand what I'm talking about here? Our vision and mission is this. Pan African Girl vision is to seek, seek and advocate, strengthen and support the right of every African living in Africa, starting from Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria, through reaching out, researching and developing initiatives that will empower Nigerians and Africans to resolve conflict and support them to live a comfortable life in the communities, while making a meaningful contribution to their families and the continent at large. Our mission is to provide support that is culturally comparable to individuals in a traditional development manner, that will support and supply sanitary power to African girls in Africa, and to encourage good parenting, help initiate employment opportunities, help homeless persons educate and develop them on a ski acquisition. Pan African girls help in eradicating domestic and family violence in Nigeria and other African countries. Pan African girls is an NGO that is focused on poverty and disadvantaged people of all ages in Nigeria and in Africa today. In spite of the geographical division, our work is increasingly going to be in a particular place and group of vulnerable people. Pan African Girl is developing a new service and program to help build sustainable and successful new communities in and around Benin City, Edo State, and other part of Nigeria federations and community in Africa. See, as you guys see, um, I have a three point agenda listed. These are something we're working on. So it's not a gimmick. It's not um, it's we are. It's a fully registered NGO, um, in in, in Benin City. We will be fully be launching our program, um, by come December, but we're already in operation. So please visit our office. Go and register yourself. Put your numbers down so we can reach out for you. If you have an immediate issue that we you need to be solved, please. Contact part an African girl. Second is by number one three three second is circular road, Benin City, Nekwanekwan Junction. You can't miss it. It's an upstairs. Um, by your by, your, if you are coming from a New Benin, it's by your right, and when you are coming from a Kusa, it's by your left. You can't miss it. Nekwanekwan Junction. You see part an African girl on the last. Um, it's number nineteen on the building. Um, shop nineteen in the building. You can't miss it. I have a qualified barrister and an evangelist. Um, we are currently in search of a sales girl, a uh, customer representative. Um, what I have there before, um, I, will ha I have to relieve the person of the job because she, um, she, yeah, she did not respect the ethics of the job. Uh, the policy of the company was not followed. So um, it was a let down on her part, but we have to move on as, a, as an organization. So. If you have anyone that is going to work and you know it's between the age of 20 to 26, and now we, 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 26, 28, it's an idea age of that uh, organization. Uh, I will lecture the person from here. Well, we have, I have, like I said, I have qualified uh, person here on the ground that will lecture her as well. So salary will be paid promptly. And that's if you have anyone that is ready to work, you can contact us and uh, the job will be for her. So that's what I'm saying, my people. Please, um, I'm going to be um, knocking it out right now. At the time here is um, 20 minutes to um, 20 minutes to uh, 11. So uh, PM Australian time, uh, maybe born to be precisely. So um, this this hat that I acquired some um, that was 2007. Yeah, I think so. They've been to Nigeria and come back. I'll use it in Nigeria 2007 as well. It's called Wolf. Um, it's the name of a football club called Wologon Wolf. Um, yeah, that is it. That is what it is, my people. I'm going to play you guys some music um, while I round up. So 
you can't miss it. Please help me share this video to touch lives. It's about um, I'm gonna give um, um, thanks and praises by Major Fashek um, to, uh, to you guys. A new song from his uh, uh, new release album, uh, Whip No Child. Um, I'm trying to see. I've never listened to this track, but I'm gonna play it now and see how it is. We thank give, that is uh, give thanks. That's magic for shit. Too long, too long. Let me share the video if you are watching.
That's magic for Sheikh Kudumi. That's magic for shit. God win blessing. Thank you for watching. Please help me share this video. I'm talking about child support, primary advice, prison visitations, and the like. And if you have any person who have any issues, they can reach us at number 133 Second Secular Road, Bini City, by Nekwenekwen Junction in Edo State, Nigeria. The numbers on the link there are working. You can call and book an appointment, get your people to register, and that is how the way we should go. Thank you for watching. Bala Kunde, brother, how are you, man? Ça va? How is Sydney, my man? That's my Jack for Sheik. I'm blazing it out from Nigeria, one of my good friends in the musical industry. Um, that's with, um, he's just dropped his new album, um, With No Child. Um, if you are watching, please kindly help me share this video. As, as you can know, that all the we have a lot of unscrupulous elements who has been reporting my page um, to. Uh, to Facebook because I'm talking about child support and we want every African man to be responsible for their for their offspring. We don't expect your uncle, your auntie to be paying your bills while you are busy making babies. So it's time for the father to rise up and say, this is my position. I have a kid, I'm going to look after that kid. We need to take a lot of the kids off the street and that's the way we should go. So there's no two ways about it. And that's where we're standing on. I know it's a very difficult thing to do. I know a lot of people are angry. But the truth is, you can never, never run away when you are guilty. That's the only way people can realize that what they're doing is very, very wrong. You can't have a baby and be calling on your uncle, your auntie, your friend, your niece to come and sort your issue out. It's not, it's not worth it. And it shouldn't be like that. My people... If you have a kid, you're just going to be responsible for that kid. So that's where we stand at the moment. So uh, for the sake of um, um, humanity, you're going to be responsible for your offspring. Um, the life we live is what we make out of it. Uh, whether you like it or not, you can. nobody's coming to blow your trumpet for you. Um, you are your own, blow your trumpet by yourself. But like I said, if you are ready to have kids, be ready to take care of that kid. You can't have kids and expect other people to be caring for your kids. Especially those people in Europe who will be going to Nigeria to go and be pregnant girls in the street and run away. And use the flimsy excuse to say, oh, um, uh, uh, I went back to Europe now, I can't have a job. That is the reason why uh, I'm not going to marry that girl again. It's a bad luck. Why you were pregnant, you had a baby, it's a bad luck. You born a baby and run away. And I call the baby a bad luck. It doesn't make any sense. So you have to be responsible. Wherever you are, we're going to be chasing you. Uh, please, if you have any sister, you have any brother,
whose their kit is not being cared for, please contact us at number 133 Secondary Secular Road, Bini City, Banepanek Junction. We need the address of the father. We need everywhere, anywhere in the world, the person is staying. It doesn't matter. We will report the issue to the embassy of that nation where he is staying, so that if he, even if he's moving houses, we will find it. Once he's reported to United to European Union, they will be able to locate him, wherever the person is. It's no, there's no two ways about it. If you are having kids in Nigeria, you're going to be responsible for it. So there's no two ways about it. So our office is at number 133 Second Circular Road, Bini City. That is the way it is and that is the way it should be. So we don't really care how you make the money. All we care about is the child you are bearing. If you have any kids, you're going to be responsible for it. That is the way it should be. And if you have anyone that has been locked away and you are looking for uh, anarchy or whatever, you are looking for the person, contact us in the office. We'll look into the case and bring the case to a limelight where we'll be challenging the case in the court. Um, as you know, we don't guarantee, we, we, we're not going to come to you to guarantee you to say, okay, we're going to go and release your, your child, but we will do our ultimate best to make sure justice is served. So you cannot lock your child away and no one care about you because of money. Nobody wants to go and nobody is coming to help you. But we are there to help. Like I said, our job is free. If you have it in your heart, you think you can donate to our program, and I can't know by everything is listed there, you can donate. It's not by force. And I don't want anybody castigating me or fighting me to say I'm collecting money to help other people in Benin City or in Nigeria or in any part of Africa. What I'm doing is to save lives, to impart lives. That's what I'm doing. And I encourage other people to do it. And if you think it's easy, go ahead, register an NGO and, and see what it is. Everything I'm doing is fully registered and verified by EFCC. Look at it there. And we are in number 133 Second Secular Road, Bini City. There's no two ways about it. I'm not doing any dodgy business. It's fully verified by EFCC and registered by CAC. So we, anybody can say whatever they have to say. But the truth is, I'm very, very concerned about the life of the children that are roaming around in the streets in Africa. And that is why I've been to Africa to go and see with my naked eyes. It's not like someone telling me the story. Everything is fine. And every African will go to Africa. They will say, oh, home is home. No place is better than home. We all understand that. But in most cases, when you get home, you can't. There's no electricity. There's no road. There's no transport. Everything is dilapidated. So people will come back and tell you, oh, they went to Africa to go and enjoy. They are all lies. What are you enjoying? European boys will go there and go and pregnant girls and run away and leave the children, leave the mother of the children to suffer. That enjoyment. So we are here, we are now here for you. That's the way it should be. If you are ready to pregnant any girl, we should be ready to you should be ready to pay the price. So you cannot just keep on pregnant a girl and then expecting your uncle or your auntie to care for them. That's the way it should be. Mm -hmm. So my people, we have our office stated at number 133 Second Secular Road, Bini City, by Nekman Junction. I have a qualified lawyer and evangelist, and we are equally looking for a customer representative to be employed. So if you have anyone in mind that is looking for a job, please contact me by inboxing me, or you can go directly to the office and leave your CV behind. Leave your resume. Uh, um, yeah, so that we can reach you out and there will be people to interview you and uh, that's it. That's the way it should be. You know, uh, if you are there that the office is uh, closed, please kindly leave your CV to the next uh, neighbor. Um, the, my next neighbor is an insurance company and the, the other one is, um, is uh, they sell, um, uh, uh, it's, it's a wood program uh, pro company, uh, there's a girl in that office called by the name of Amanda. You can leave your CV be, to, to, with her, or you can give this your CV to the chemist on the ground. There's a girl there by the name of Uwa. She will be able to um, collect a CV and give, deliver your CV to, to the office Why no one is there to pick up your CV from you. Don't go and say, oh, the place is short, you're not going to go inside. Like I said, office, any office in the building. You can leave your CV and they will deliver your CV to the office upstairs. That's what it is. So my people, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna hang it and um, hang, hang, hang the video now. Uh, it is good to be good. And uh, Dugu Makbo is watching and want to be tagged. I'm just gonna tag him here or.
yeah let me tag uh, please let me share this video um uh, mr mark bodugu may god bless you for watching from worry uh, one of my is the, that is the um the secret uh, the financial secretary of the ngo um she's based in uh, Dera state worry to be precisely so by december we will be holding a, a final uh, onslaught by launching the program why all the philanthropists and all people around the world will be invited to this great occasion as you see our ngo is is a self-funded ngo and uh, not just only for self-funded ngo our initiatives is primarily created by us so our program is for us is that is the only ngo in nigeria or in a do state that have its own personal program and so that's what i'm calling on every individual every philanthropist everyone that is going to see this video to kindly support and promote this program to reach out and touch lives um it's not going back and that's the only way i think it should be done and by imparting life by supporting our initiatives thank you guys for watching may god continue to bless every one of you and uh, uh, it's part of African girls, and uh, that's where we are at the moment. Um, this also go to the people who is be sending message and want to deliver look my website. My website is developed, and uh, I already needed uh, someone that can update it. Um, yeah, so you know you know how to do a website. You know you can update the website. Please kindly contact me in person, or you can reach out to my office um, where we we can let you know how what we need and what we don't. Thank you very much. May God continue to bless you. Bye for now.